Hello, I'm Adam Rojas, and today I would like to explore more possibilities of our HMI and Arduino connection via Modbus protocol. If you haven't already, I would recommend that you watch our previous video on this topic to catch up on the progress that we've made. We covered how to make an Arduino speak Modbus protocol and the wiring and code to make that possible. I also explained how bit information can be transferred between the HMI and Arduino. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to read and write numerical data from the Arduino to the HMI. I will be using a servo motor to display how the HMI can send information to the Arduino. And from there, I will be scaling up this project and controlling an open source robotic arm from my HMI. By the end of this video, I hope to have shown you the groundwork for my project so that you can copy my ideas and use them to implement your own modules into your projects. You can attach a temperature module to your Arduino and display the information on the HMI using one of our graphs, or you can attach an accelerometer to your Arduino and log the data using our data sampling object. Addressing numerical data is very similar to our previous video where we addressed bit addresses on our HMI. However, there are a few key differences to keep in mind. Take for example how we addressed the first bit. RegBank1 would address the OX1 on the HMI. RegBank 30001 is a write-only register for numerical data. It will be writing to the 3x and 4x registers on the HMI. If we add 40001, then we will be writing to the 6x registers on the HMI. In today's project, I will be using these registers because they are able to both read and write numerical data. So with this knowledge, I can jump into our Arduino IDE and create a simple code to read one register from the HMI and export it to the servo. Everything circled in red will be used in the connection process for the Modbus connection. Important numbers to know will be the slave ID and the baud rate. Everything circled in blue is for initializing the servo arm and telling the board what pin it is connected to. Here we can see that servo 1 is connected to pin 8 on the Arduino board. We have a statement circled in green that declares the register 6x10 and then simultaneously sets the data value to 90. At the bottom of our code we have two lines that are going to loop. The first line declares that we will be continuously writing the value of 6x10 to our servo and the second line is going to be adding a 10 millisecond delay between every loop. This delay is not necessary, but it helps to make the code more reliable when we upload. I've thrown a diagram up on screen showcasing how I wired my project. However, all you need to know is that the servo will be connected to pin 8, and the wiring for the IRS485 connection will follow the same steps as our last video. To begin working on the EasyBuilder Pro project, we must first add the Arduino board as a new device. We can do this by selecting the Modbus RTU RTU over TCP option and setting the connection type to RS485 two wire connection through COM2. Pause here if you want to copy down my settings before continuing. The objects for this project are also fairly simple. All that is required is one numeric object connected to 6x10. However, I added an extra slider object and display in order to better show the angle that the servo is at. So, now that we've set up the first project, I will head over to the test bench in order to see what it looks like in action. The first thing I'm going to test is the manual reset button on the Arduino board. As we saw previously in our code, when I reset the board I should expect the angle of the servo to reset to 90 degrees. Next I will be moving the position of the servo with my slider object. I am using VNC Viewer to remotely control the input. Notice how the display on our HMI mimics the angle of the servo. With that successful test, I will be moving on to a more complicated project. I'm going to be controlling this open source robotic arm solely from the HMI and Arduino. 
The arm I'm going to be using is what you see currently being built in the background. It offers 6 degrees of freedom, meaning that there are 6 servos for each joint. The code for the Arduino board will be fairly similar to our previous test. However, this time I will be writing to 6 servos as opposed to 1. The servo labeled servo 1 will be our base servo, while 6 will be the servo that controls our claw. So from this block of code, we can read that servo 1 is connected to 6x1, and servo 2 is connected to 6x2. This pattern makes addressing specific joints much easier from the HMI. For the EasyBuilder Pro project, I have set up 6 numeric objects. The bottom register is servo 1, also known as the base, and the top register is servo 6, which is going to be our claw. Next to each register is a set word object. These will increase or decrease the angle for more accurate movements. I've also set up a function key that will run a macro to invert the positions of servos 2 through 5. While this macro has no real purpose at the moment, it will help me to demonstrate the capabilities of the arm. Moving back to our test bench, I've set up a base for the arm and mounted it to a box. Inside this box is a separate power supply for the servos. If you were to try and power 6 servos from your Arduino board, you could cause serious damage to your board. I've also hidden the Arduino board within the box, and this helps to make the arm look much neater. The HMI is to the right of the arm, and I'm going to once again control the inputs using VNC Viewer, which is going to be displayed above the HMI. At this point, I'm going to press the macro a few times directly from the HMI screen. And as you can tell, the arm still responds from the actual input. Thank you for watching. In this video, we demonstrated how to address numerical data from the HMI and use this in order to control six servos through Modbus protocol. You can visit us at wintechusa.com or subscribe to our YouTube page, where we will demonstrate how to accomplish more complex functionalities with open source robotic arms.